and we've been married. You haven't changed nothing into my name. You haven't put the house in my name. You haven't put the insurance in my name. And then you got like everybody else is on as a beneficiary. Okay, like, <laughs> no, no, you, you, no, you, you got cannot be saying. Until you put me you really on the insurance, on the deeds, on the cards, on everything, it, it's no matter. You might as well go ahead and say there's no matter. Who are you? Are you? I don't care what you're talking about. You never take my side. Like, I probably should have never married you. Get my ring back then. Right. Hey, we can end this right now. Sir, you can end this. Put it right here. Put it right here. Thank you. Yo, never again. I promise you, never again. That right there? Oh, no. Hello. Single life. Let me give my assessment about this. First of all, let's start with the fact, because I know what a lot of you fellas are going to say, like, oh my God, she is a problem. And you're right. You're 100% right. She is a problem. She's bugging out. She's wilding out. All of that goofy stuff. She's upset because they've been married for 30 days. He hasn't put her on the insurance. He hasn't put her on the deeds to whatever he owns. He hasn't put her as a beneficiary, all of those different things. Now, I'm going to keep it all the way funky. Because she's his wife, I can understand why she's concerned. But she's going about it the wrong way. Because you can't make a man do anything. You're, you're demanding for him to do something, and you're trying to shame him into doing it. And that's not a good way to go about it. Now, on the flip side, because I don't know the background i don't know how long they were dating each other before they got married now if i were to guess I, I would say that they probably haven't even known each other a year before they got married because why else would he be that apprehensive about doing those things you feel what i'm saying why else would he be apprehensive about doing those things and if that is the case then he should not have married her he had no business marrying her because look here's the reality guys there is a huge difference between a wife and a girlfriend the 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 chasm between those two things is like the grand canyon because look here's the reality i'm a traditional type guy so i'm gonna tell you what i think from a traditional standpoint from a traditional standpoint the moment you decide to marry a woman you take on the responsibility of that woman. As a husband, it is your responsibility to make sure your wife is taken care of. It is your responsibility to make sure that if something happens to you, your wife is going to be straight. You're supposed to add her as your beneficiary along with your children. You're supposed to share things, right? Now, if your argument is, look at how she's acting, I'll go back to what I said before. He shouldn't have married her. If he wasn't willing to put his all into that, he shouldn't have got married, right? Now, the other thing that she said that I heard, which he's dead wrong for, if his mother's talking crazy about her, he's wrong for that. She's sitting there talking crazy about his mother. He's wrong for that. He's supposed to check that on both ends if, if you're a husband you are not supposed to allow your mother to talk crazy about your wife and you're not supposed to allow your wife to talk crazy about your mother you got to check that immediately the moment it happens the moment your mom starts talking crazy but you say hold on for a second this is my wife you're not going to talk crazy about my wife she's not going to talk crazy about you we're not doing this. But see, you know, as much as I hate to go in on the dude, he's lacking in his masculinity. And, and the reason why he's lacking is because you knew this chick was like this before you married her. Why would you then go ahead and marry her? And why would you tell her all of those things before you married her if you didn't have any intentions of doing it? If they've only been married for 30 days, if I was him, I would try, depending on what jurisdiction they're in, because, you know, different states have different laws, I would try to get an annulment, 
or just go ahead and get a and get a uh, divorce because they've only been together for 30 days. I don't think she has any claim on any of anything of his if they've only been married for 30 days, right? Men, black men, men in general, you got to do better. You got to do better. There, there's too many of you dudes running around here with an engagement ring in your back pocket, just ready to hand it to the first woman that shows you some attention. Because you cannot build a marriage just off of, oh, well, I, I like the way her butt cheeks clap. Or, or I like the fact that she got, you know, uh, uh, big breasts. Like, you, you can't base it. And look, she's not, you know, in my opinion, I don't know what he finds attractive. I don't really find her attractive. But, you know, there's something about her that made him want to marry her. Who knows? I don't know what they're like when they're getting along with each other. Who knows? But I'm going to tell you the truth. As ratchet as she's acting, as goofy as she's acting, she has a point. She has a point. He married her. Bruh, if you married her, there are certain things that come with marriage, there are certain expectations that come with marriage. And this is why I keep telling you guys over and over again, you got to be careful who you get into a relationship with. You shit, you got to be careful who you date. But you most certainly have to be careful about who you decide to marry. You got to be careful about who you decide to marry. Because that's not like... I don't know why people treat marriage like it's just boyfriend and girlfriend. It's not. The moment you marry somebody, especially if you do it, especially if it's a state-sanctioned marriage, right? If it's a state-sanctioned marriage, then you are tied to that person legally. And the thing about a marriage, a marriage is easy to get into. Marriage is like, marriage is like trouble. It's easy to get into, difficult to get out of. 